guys welcome back to my channel happy makeup monday so i am here bright and early we're actually headed to a one-year-old birthday party so i'm all ready right now and i just thought it'd be the perfect time to do a little intro for you because i missed friday's video as you guys know i've been planning the girl's second birthday so it has been so busy but in today's video i wanted to share with you uh everything that i've bought from amazon so i have gotten a lot of stuff i have found really really awesome um you know party favors decor just so much stuff for the theme we have going on which is like an enchanted forest theme uh, but you'll see all of that in today's video and also a makeup collection and makeup vanity tour which i've been wanting to do for a while now as you guys know and i've been kind of doing my makeup here and there and organizing it but i finally finished so you'll see that in today's video too if you have missed any of my old videos definitely go check them out uh, i have lots of new vlogs coming and if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe now and let's just roll right in I have been waiting quite a while to do this video as you know since we moved here I've been saying that once I have all my makeup organized I wanted to do a collection video and show you like my whole makeup vanity uh, and you already know if you've been following me for a long time I have gone through so many makeup vanities and it really is how I started my channel in the first place and like my passion for makeup and beauty and having a really nice aesthetic <laughs> where I get ready uh, so this one here is a built-in of course um, I mean our builders did a fantastic job with the design and the chandelier we picked out and I love it so much it's so elegant and beautiful and I also have like some decor on top here I've kept it quite plain though uh, but I will be going through all of my makeup and I'll try to be as detailed as possible I'm not gonna go through every single thing but I will go through like a majority and also the chair is from Wayfair so I really like it it's the same one we have down downstairs in our kitchen uh, but I'm gonna get started so starting right here the this gorgeous spinning tray I actually got from home sense one of my favorite places of all time and I just thought it would look so nice because it's clear glass and mirrored which kind of goes with this whole theme of my makeup vanity and kind of blends in really nicely so I have that I also have a little diptyque candle which I love this it's just a little mini one I got from Sephora and then right behind it, I have my Coco Mademoiselle uh, body lotion, which I don't really use. It's more so for decor. It has a really strong scent. So if I don't want to wear perfume, then I will go in with that. But it is really overpowering. But I love the bottle. It's just so chic and beautiful. This lash holder, um, or sorry, makeup brush holder with the lashes is from Sephora. And I got it from the 500 points. And I just thought it'd be so nice to put my new marble brushes into, which these are launching very soon. So I'm really excited. But I've had, I've had them out on display for so long now. And I just think they look really nice in our bathroom because it kind of goes with the whole theme and matches really beautifully so I have that I also have my wedding ring here I don't wear it all the time just because the girls and if I'm playing with them uh, but I do leave it on here and just keep it you know in a really nice safe place Next thing you know, I have my Louis Vuitton tray right here. So this was actually sent to me from Nicole and she has some other custom ones she's making for me, which I'm so excited. So if you wanna check her shop out, I'll leave a link down below. They honestly are such nice high-end quality trays and I have them all throughout our house. So like I have one in my office, I'm gonna have one very soon in my closet and other spaces. So once they come in, I will show them to you guys. But this one, I went with the Louis Vuitton logo. You could do Chanel, you can do any ones that you want. You just have to contact her. It also says has SL Miss Glam on the back, which I really love. Let me know, do you think I should put something inside like a little flower bouquet or like some sort of candle, a decor piece? Let me know what, but I do like it just plain, honestly. I, I don't know why, but it, I just think it looks really, really pretty um, on its own. But right over here, I also have my new marble glam. This is the box that'll be coming in and I love having these out for display. 
they're just so beautiful to look at so i really love the boxes they're so elegant and beautiful and then right here we have my candles so this is the volup suburban vanilla and i had this in the basement but i was like it really goes with our washroom i think it looks better in here so volupsa has the prettiest luxury candles and they smell heavenly so highly recommend them i am beyond excited to share with you guys my drawers i just finished them out yesterday so i was like yes I can finally do a little tour for you and show you everything that I've organized in these drawers. And I'm just gonna pull them out to show you kind of what they look like from above. So these holders are actually from Amazon. They come in sets of nine and they're fantastic. You have a small one, you have a medium one and a large one. So I think it just really nicely fits like all my smaller pieces and you know my larger pieces as well, but it just is a really nice set to buy uh, for these thinner type drawers. And then this side here I love. This is my everyday drawer, so I'm gonna go through everything that's in there. And then also right here we have eyeshadows. It's not full, and you'll be surprised actually. I don't have, I do have a lot of makeup, but I don't have as much as I used to. I really have downsized, which I think is healthy and good because I'm not gonna go through everything. Uh, but it is nice to have a makeup collection and you know, just, I have always had a passion for makeup. Like I love playing with makeup and I love having it all organized and pretty. So really excited about that. And then also my lippy drawer, which is one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna go through everything and share with you guys what I've done um, with my entire makeup collection. Okay, so the way I organized this part here, I actually put all of my liquid eyeshadows in this container, which has been one of my favorites. This is actually the only container that's not the same as the rest. So this one's just from the dollar store, which are also great, but I have a lot of the Too Faced. These are the new matte shadows. So these are really pretty. I actually haven't tried them yet, so I'm really excited. So I've got a few shades and then also these Pixie Fairy, um, what are they called? Fairy shadows, but they're awesome. They're so pigmented. I have a few shades in those. All those and then Jouer right here this is really pretty as well we have some of the Juicy Couture we have this this is actually a pigment from Too Faced pure gold so pretty I love gold I love anything warm on the eyes and then some random ones under there as well the Juicy Couture ones are really pretty too so I have all those and then right in here I actually put some of like my hand moisturizers and then face moisturizers in here that were small so these are mostly from Ipsy and then this one is from Soap and Glory so these these containers are awesome I really like how small they are and then we have some like random pixie in here too and they all fit nicely like you can rearrange them however you want but I really like how they're different sizes okay so back to filming I actually had a ton of Amazon stuff for the girls party just arrive uh, I've been on the phone also all this morning with all the planners and just it's been crazy, but I'm so excited. I'm getting so excited, but um, makeup here. I have Full Proof Brow Powder by Benefit, which I really like. I have some palettes as well, like the Patrick Star. I really love this one with MAC, so I have that in here, and also some Milani as well. And then right in here we have basically mascaras, some lash glue from Beauty Code Co., which I love their lashes. It's actually a girlfriend of mine, and this is the most awesome lash glue. We have Eyes to Kill, uh, Giorgio Armani, and also Marc Jacobs Mascara with my name on it, which is really neat, but yeah, I have that. And then right in here, this is kind of where I have the small shadows from Ipsy bags and stuff. Um, so yeah, we have Laura, we have her eyeshadow right there, and also some random little things that I have, like the, this is actually one of my favorite powders, the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. It smells so good. And then I have a little mini silk canvas by Tatcha, which is a really nice primer, so I have that too. Okay, so just put it back like this, and I just switched it up a little bit too. I put this on this side, but that's a nice thing. You can move things around, and if there are things that you reach for, you can put them closer. Uh, but yeah, also in this video, I didn't, I'm not gonna swatch or like, that's not usually how I do makeup collections. I just kind of show what I have in my collection, the products, and then how I store everything, so. Yeah, but over here I have, this is also another one of my miscellaneous, but also favorite little containers. So we have one of my favorite mascaras, the Dang Girl by Too Faced. This is actually one of my small beauty blenders that I absolutely love, sparkle every day. And then here we just have Anastasia Brow, um, clear brow gel, which I really do like. Some other random products that I don't use all the time, but just nice having random things. Uh, Tarte, I actually haven't tried this. Let me know if you like this powder. I've heard it's really good. 
Amazonian clay and then the Naked Cosmetics pigment. So I do, I'm trying to get more into pigment as well. I think it's nice kind of doing something sparkly and fun every once in a while. Uh, I also have a little candle for decor, but it also just makes your like entire drawer smell really nice. So that's also why I like putting candles in there. And then right in here, we have, ooh, one of my favorite palettes, the Mariah Carey collection with uh, MAC. That there, look how pretty. I wish they'd come out with something like this again. I just love these little like quads. And then right here we have Pixie. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks really pretty. Right here we have the, what is this called? The Spring Kabuki Doll Palette. So this was one of my favorites. I wore this like all last year, every day. You can see how much I used it. I loved the three sparkly shades. And then also something I got in my Ipsy bag. I have a Fenty Beauty. This is actually one of her like most sparkly, crazy highlighters. If I can open it, look at that. That is like, woof. But yeah, this is the how many carrots. <laughs> uh, and then right here, Pacifica, we have, this is from my Ipsy bag, just two colors right here, which are really pretty. And then Too Faced, I love Too Faced so much, you guys. Everything is Too Faced that I own. Um, but right here, we also have these, which they came out with, which are really pretty. Uh, so yeah, highlighters, and they also came out with like bronzers as well. And then right back here, I actually have, okay, so I'm out of my favorite foundation right now, which is the um, Pat McGrath foundation, but I'm gonna be wearing the Peach Perfect until the other one comes in. So this is a really nice foundation, warm beige. It is a full coverage foundation. And then I also have the Primed and Poreless by Too Faced, which is a really nice primer, but my skin has been so dry that I've been going in with a hydrating primer. Uh, instead of that for right now, but I, I kept it. And then right here we have the Fenty Beauty Stick, highlighting stick, we have the Tarte, I actually haven't used this yet, mascara. Let me know if you guys like that one, but I love, like, I wear mascara all the time. I have kind of stuck away from wearing false lashes and I only wear them for special occasions, like the girl's second birthday. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of that or if there's a mascara that you guys really like then let me know as well. I usually wear the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. That's one of my favorites. We have Pixie. Um, yeah, just some random things that I've gotten from Ipsy as well. And then Cabral, which is nice by Benefit. So I have that, which my brows have been just absolutely crazy late lately. I've had to uh, trim my hairs myself, which I've never done, but I haven't got my eyebrows waxed in so long. I have a backup of my favorite powder, Loose Powder by Chanel, which I will show you guys the full thing. And then right here we have Wander Beauty. This is the all-day translucent powder. I haven't opened it yet. Maybe I'll use that as a giveaway. Ooh, I should use this for a giveaway, actually, because so many people have been asking me about it, and it is a beautiful powder. So maybe I'll do a little makeup giveaway soon. Um, once we hit 300k, I definitely will be doing a big one. I feel like this video is gonna be very long, but I hope you're enjoying it so far and how I'm filming it. And we're gonna go on into the next drawers, which are not full. I don't think I filled up this one either. So right here we have my makeup line that I'm working on, Fenty Beauty Powder, and then right in here I might as well. It's crazy to see like my makeup drawers not filled, but I think it's a good thing. I don't, I honestly don't need that much makeup. And then right here, this is actually a really pretty hand cream that I got from Ipsy. And then we also have uh, Pixie right here. It's not even opened yet. Sephora lip gloss, it's not even open yet. House of Lash Glue, um, some mascara, some random things. This is kind of miscellaneous. Look how much more room I have. I definitely have to get some more inserts. So for the bottom drawers right here, I have my palettes and also some other palettes. I haven't really organized this drawer fully, but we have some Ipsy bags. We have this right here by Too Faced, which is actually one of my favorite palettes of all time. This is so beautiful. That's what it looks like there. And then right in here, we have lots of Too Faced palettes. So they actually did like six fit in here perfectly. So I just thought I would quickly show you guys that. Uh, these are the little palettes that are just so perfect for travel, so perfect. And I've, of course, that usually happens with some of my shadows, probably from all the banging in transit uh, when we moved. But yeah, these are just so gorgeous. I've been wearing these for so many years. This was the first palette I ever bought, like ever bought, which is so crazy. Um, but yeah, lots of little Too Faced palettes. And then we also have some bronzers. Um, what do I have in here? So Milani Baked Highlighter. We also have these, which are my favorite by Too Faced bronzers. And then right here we have Powder by Too Faced as well. So I do have a lot of Too Faced 
Uh, this one is also a powder by Pure Cosmetics, a foreign one. I think you can wear it as foundation too. Mariah Carey, oh, I bought the entire collection when, the, when this launched, you guys. It was so beautiful and it had like a little face. You can still sort of see it, but oh my goodness, so pretty to wear in the summertime. I also love the packaging. It's really beautiful. So I got that and I'm gonna go and show you the other side. So right in this middle drawer right here, it is actually a quite like shallow thin drawer. And of course, got some lashes stuck back here. There we go. So this has basically become my lash drawer. So I do have all of my Beauty Code Co lashes right here, which I wear all the time. And then these ones right here are from Ambitions Beauty. And her Instagram is actually JJ Diaries, but I mean, she has such cute lashes. And I love the little boxes and the detailing on it, but so pretty. Uh, so I'll link all the lashes down below. We also have Tanya's Beauty, which I love how pretty these are. Like they can be little de decor pieces in your beauty room and they're just so girly. So I really, really love those. And then over here we actually have Scent Birds. So I got sent these um, a few weeks ago and they are amazing. Really good to just throw in my bag and they're refillable so you can like use different scents, which I really like. Um, and right in here, this is actually my everyday makeup drawer. So this is what I'm reaching for the most. Uh, so I'll just take them out to show you guys. There we go. So we have all of the Too Faced highlighters, which these are so pretty. They're actually like little diamond boxes if you guys haven't seen them. So that's what they look like there. I actually just found this one the other day. I didn't even know I had it. So it's the bronzer one, which I totally need to try that. That is beautiful for the summer. What's left of the summer that is. And then right here we have the yellow one. And this one I've worn the most actually. So that one there really fun and playful but they do fit like you can fit four of these in here quite nicely so that is what I've done and I'll leave a link down below of course on these containers and some of the other ones that I would recommend if you had like a larger space for a makeup vanity because this is just for kind of like a thinner space and then right here my favorite blush duo Jouer I bought this randomly at Sephora and I fell in love with it. I've been wearing, I've actually been wearing them together every single day and I love it so much. So it's really beautiful and this is called the Rose Gold Blush Duo. So we have that and then he he, these are actually my makeup palettes that I have. I've already showed you guys those like a sneak peek in the last video I did. So I have those. I also have my Too Faced powder. That right there, Primed and Poreless. I have the Natasha Denona palette, this one right here, which is also really pretty. These are a little expensive, but her shadows are really beautiful. So we have that. And my nails are totally junk right now, by the way, so I apologize. I, <laughs> least of my worries right now with everything I have going on. Uh, I have to replace my Pat McGrath Labs foundation. This is my all-time favorite, and I'm out. So I definitely have to hit up Sephora sometime next week. Let me know if there's anything else I should try. I feel like Sephora is like honestly like a candy store. Every time I go in there, I just want to buy so many things. Um, but I've been trying to not buy too much makeup. This is the powder I was talking about, the Chanel powder. So this I go in with every single morning. I don't have to go through powder throughout the day. It's just perfect. It lasts so long on the skin. This is like my go-to bronzer right now. This was another collection one by MAC, but I just love this bronzer. It's very natural on my skin. And then right here we have some blushes by MAC as well. I didn't know I had so much MAC makeup. Mariah Carey, and then this one here, which is really pretty too. So I do like natural toned blushes and then also pink. So I don't really experiment too much with uh, blushes, but I do like the natural tones. Okay, so back here we have three containers, one, if I can get this out, two, three. Okay, so right here, this is the uh, this is the primer I was talking about. So this is the one I've been really liking. If you have drier skin, this is like a life savior for your skin. So this is the Pure Canvas Primer in Hydrating. And then honestly, this is my go-to palette, the Natural Nudes by Too Faced. Like if you have not bought this palette, you are missing out. This is such a nice everyday neutral tone palette and it has a little bit of everything, which I really like. It's so beautiful. So I have that. This I've been going in with um, just because it's high SPF and it also is quite uh, covering as well. Like I was very surprised because it is a CC cream, but it covers, it goes, it glides on really nicely. It's SPF 50, so it cosmetics. I love this stuff, it's awesome. And then some other everyday products. We have the Fenty Beauty Mascara. I've also been going in with that one. It's really nice and lengthening, volumizing. 
this is awesome this is the liner by fenty beauty so liquid liner i've been going into that too and then we also have my fenty beauty i have two of them just in case i ran out but this is their brow mvp so i use that in my brows every day i also have one of pixie's um eyeshadow sticks so that's also really nice to have sometimes that's just quick and easy instead of having to do like a full eye and then also the tom ford this is one of the prettiest glosses this is in love lust and it's such a pretty pink so and look at the packaging it's gorgeous so i have that and then also right here we have the anastasia highlighter and this is in so hollywood so i haven't really played around with that but i might try it soon it looks really beautiful and then in this container here i have two nars I don't even know what they are actually because i haven't opened them in a while so we have oh the orgasm blush and then this one i believe is eyeshadow yeah so a little eyeshadow duo and then also chanel i don't have too much chanel makeup but there were a few things that i bought coming back from the airport of like last year i think and one's a powder or oh, one's a bronzer and then i think this one's a powder so i try to stick away from chanel it's so expensive for their makeup um, but yeah, it is really pretty though. They do have really nice products. And lastly in here we have a little Fenty Beauty powder as well. And then this is one of my favorite uh, bronzers right here. This is actually an Natasha Denona and it's so small, but I have fallen in love with this color. It's quite similar to the MAC one I have, uh, but any of these little duos by her are unreal. I am obsessed with these. And also Tom Ford, we have a highlighter, uh, two highlighters actually, it's a duo if I can open it. It's kind of hard to with one hand. There we go. So right here we have this and it's so pretty. I actually go in with this highlighter almost every day or every second day. So I definitely stick to some products that I love and this is like my everyday drawer stuff that I'm reaching for constantly. So I wanted it to be in the first drawer um, up top. And then right in here, I have just some minis that I've gotten in the Ipsy bags. And then right here, my Pat McGrath concealer. I'm all out of it, but I just wanted to show it to you because it is my favorite concealer of all time. And it's so covering, but also very lightweight. You can't feel it on the skin. So I have to get a new one. And then also I've been using this quite frequently. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And it's so nice. And I use it before and after makeup. So I have that. And then I have a gloss here by MAC that I wear. So I usually get limited edition things and then end up falling in love with it and then can't ever buy it again. So that's been my major problem that I have. And then in here we have a lot of my mini shadows. So these are perfect for like any mini single eyeshadow uh, pods or anything uh, that is small in a collection. Like these little blushes that came out by Too Faced are really nice in here. And I also have some other random things. Lori Mercier powder right here. I love minis. I don't know about you, but I'm like obsessed with mini anything so i was really excited to get these i definitely want to get some more so i can put them in here and fill it up but i have all my milani uh eyeshadows single eyeshadows some ipsy ones we have some pixie right here and more of those tart i think i must have got those from the 100 points because i swear i have like three or four of them the tart powder so we've got lots of those and i'm not going to go through everything here uh we also have a really pretty uh, blush that this is actually from Tarte. I wore it for the longest time before I got the Jouer That right there. It's more of like a muted light Natural tone, uh, but yeah, that's everything I have in there. I definitely have to fill it up This drawer here is my all-time favorite. I have all my lip glosses in here So and they're double stacked as well. So there's a ton and sorry about the lighting It actually is really really bright in my washroom right now. I have the blinds up so why it's doing that but it is actually really nice for filming right now so let's pull all these out oh my goodness i love lip glosses okay so we have all of my lip glosses in here we have a lot of Too Faced so these ones are my all-time favorite which i think they came out with a new collection i just saw of glosses and this is the prettiest packaging gloss I've ever seen. I love Too Faced. Oh, so we have all these glosses in here. I have the whole collection. I have one in my purse actually that I've been wearing plus the Fenty Beauty lip gloss as well. This is so nice. I love these so much. So I have the Fenty Beauty. I have the candy stick right there by Too Faced. I have Pure Cosmetics. They came out with a collection and I just kept all their glosses. And then some Joe Fresh glosses. Anastasia Minis. I don't know what's under here. There's so many. We also have, yeah.
Okay, so that's a funny thing. I actually, I looked into getting into glosses. I had samplings done and stuff. So I do have some sample tubes down below that I didn't end up going with. It's still something like a work in progress and I'm working on a palette right now with single shadows. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly mention that. Uh, but right here we have some lipsticks. So we have, uh, this is Maybelline, I think, or maybe Rimmel. Yeah, Rimmel. And then Joe Fresh, we have four of the strip searches. <laughs> by Too Faced. This is my all-time favorite lipstick, so when I am obsessed with something, I'm obsessed. So I bought so many. It's such a beautiful nude. And then also these lipsticks here, which are just so nice. The packaging is gorgeous, and I have lots of shades. I got the whole collection, actually, once it launched and came out. And then right here, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and lipsticks. So I think they're like the melted lipsticks and then glosses and then underneath that I have the peach collection hopefully I'm not making too much noise moving stuff around and you guys can hear me properly but we have the sweet peach which is really nice gloss actually and has like a little peach at the top which is really cute let's put everything back oh I love lip gloss like this is totally my favorite section in my entire makeup collection uh, but right here we have just some random, um, or this one's Patrick Ta actually, and then some random ones, and then Pixie. So I really like the Pixie liquid lipsticks as well. And then we have, I think this is YSL. Yeah, YSL. We have some of the gingerbread down here by uh, Too Faced, and then also a Marc Jacobs gloss. So lots of random stuff. And then right here we have, this is MAC, and some of these are, what is this, Mellow Cosmetics. And this is the Lip Bling by Tarte. So lots of random stuff too. Besides my Too Faced, I usually keep in one section. But yeah, that's all my lip glasses. Okay, so my last drawer is right here. And I probably should hurry because <laughs> Ryan's with the girls right now. And it's almost dinner time, but last portion here so down here i have all of my blushes now this is what i was talking about these natasha denona uh blush duos are so good i have hit pan on one of them um but this one right here is the pink blush and it's really pretty this one is also a really nice one if you like peachier tones and just so beautiful like i've hit pan on that too and they last a long time i, I really love her eyeshadows too and they're so beautiful uh right here we have bomb cosmetics we have pixie these are blushes and then also some highlighters. We have right back here the Too Faced little peach blushes. They're kind of like a cream. And then right here we have um, this right here. So Papa Don't Peach. This is actually really cute. I loved this collection and it smelled like peaches. It smells so good. Right here we have Pixie highlighters. We have some Hourglass blushes and highlighters. They actually have beautiful highlighters. I really like their highlighters blush. And then back here, we just have a uh, foolproof brow by Benefit. I love Benefit for brows. I think they have awesome brow products. And then back here, I'm not gonna go through all this, but we have lots of eyeliners. And I honestly only wear liquid liner. I don't even really wear crayon anymore. And pencil liners, I just kind of stick away from just because I'm sweating all day and some do kind of leak out. So I just kind of go with liquid now, but I do have lots of those. And those were from collections and stuff that I got sent. And back here we have some of the Too Faced uh, bronzers. So I do have backups. They sent me an entire collection as well. The only makeup I really buy is the stuff that was in this drawer that I like wear every single day and I'll buy like doubles of. Uh, right here we also have the Gingerbread Collection by Too Faced. We have the Sweetie Pie. And then back here, Blushes by Too Faced. Or no, they're highlighters. Those are highlighters. And then in the front here, we just have some, these are Milani Cosmetics. Nice little eyeshadow palettes. And then right here, we also have the Peach Collection. So Peach Glow by Too Faced. Boom, so pretty. And we have Fenty Beauty. I actually, I really like Fenty Beauty. She has some really nice products. So this is the Trophy Wife. It's like a really blinding uh, highlighter, but it was fun to buy. And right here we have the Makeup Forever. These are their highlighters actually. So if I can open it, there we go. There we go, so pretty. So we have that, Milani Cosmetics, Orfra. We have minis right here. So this is actually the Becca highlighters that are so cute. They came in a little package. Oh, this one's broken. Let's pretend we didn't see that. 
<laughs> and then right in here, let's see if this one's intact. Yes, okay, look at that. But I love Becca highlighters, they're so beautiful, and I love the minis. These all came in like a little macaron collection. And then right here, we have the Anast Anastasia um, pigments. I can't talk, it's been so long that I've been talking. So we got those, and then right here we have some minis. So we have Fenty Beauty, little Bang Beauty. Like I just get lots of little Ipsy bag stuff, so I put them in those too. I forgot this drawer. So this one here, we have more lippies. Uh, so we have Pop Beauty. These ones I got sent, so we have all their newest ones, these toppers, they're so pretty. So I've got lots of those. I'm not gonna go through all of them or it's gonna take me a very long time, but I just wanted to quickly show you those. And then these fit really nicely into this container. So these are the Pixie Liquid Lipsticks. So those right there. Pixie's wonderful, like I love some of their products and I use a lot of their skincare. And right here we also have miscellaneous like lipsticks. We have a little Givenchy. We have, uh, this one is the Pat McGrath little lip balm. Dior, we have Dior. We have Fenty Beauty, which I think I have three of these. I'm obsessed with the gloss. And then also again with Pixie. So lots of stuff there. And then right here we have Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford lipsticks. I think they have some of the most pigmented, most beautiful shades ever. And I've had these for quite some time now. Like, I don't even know what, yeah, that's really pretty. I haven't worn them in a while, but they are beautiful. And then we also have lots of the melted uh, by Too Faced. These are really fun and they last forever on the lips. So I have lots of them lots of shades We have some NYX cosmetics and then yeah more melted latex. So there's a ton down there This was like the really cute little dog collection anime that they came out with so I did keep that one It's really pretty and cute. So yeah, that's another lippy drawer that I have I almost forgot right in the back here. We actually have some sage so these are so nice to all the moms out there. If you don't have them, you need to get them. They're like little roller balls and they just make you feel so relaxed. And also they have one for immune if you're sick. So I like using that one too, but this is all of them. They're really cute, the little baby version. So I just keep them in here. There's a few I haven't even opened yet. And they're just like essential oils and so nice to rub on your neck. Um, and I just, oh, I love them. We have a little Becca lipstick, just more little lippies here, Tarte. Anything mini I keep and I put in these containers and they're honestly perfect for putting in like little, little things. I'm just obsessed with it. So I think that was it. I think I've showed you my entire makeup collection. Okay, so the girls party stuff has completely taken over my office space and this actually just all came in from Amazon and I wanted to do a big Amazon haul because every single thing that is right here is from Amazon and I literally got 90% of the girls uh, stuff as far as gifts and then party favors decor for the party everything is from Amazon So really excited to share with you guys like what I got and They're obviously obviously I think I'm going to do like a full vlog for the day of the party in the morning So I can show you everything in action and once we have everything set up But I just thought I would show you kind of you know some of the stuff package that I bought so these right here are the cat Aspen plates, which I really like she has all different kinds but these floral ones were my like my absolute favorite. Sorry if I can't talk right now. I'm so tired I just went grocery shopping and then we also just have some friends coming over this afternoon So it's a little bit of a rush But I wanted to quickly show you how beautiful these are and I did get the small ones too So these ones here and I'll link them down below as like with everything else that I do link uh, But she does have other really really pretty plates. So I just want to say that as well Definitely check her out. I got like super obsessed with her stuff and then these right here are the napkins which are the exact same so just really pretty floral i also got some really pretty flowers as well you'll see like all the different ones that i got i got greenery i also got these ones which i really love and i just thought these would look nice all together I'll show you you can kind of see just like that like some really nice pastels i think i'm missing a pink one but I did get those. These are actually, okay, so I wanted to do something fun this year. I wanna actually make the girls uh, bags and make them all different. So these are what I'm gonna put all their gifts in and then I could do like different pictures or whatever on the front of the bag and attach like these cute little bag tags that I bought and then also some floral. So I thought I could attach floral to these. 
and make my own. The other thing I got were rose petals, so I got white, gold, and pink. I thought I could put these on the dining room table and spread them out. And then also some plants, so I got those. These, okay, so these are for a ball pit that I got for outside. So I just thought since we do have some really youngins coming, like under one, that they could play in this and they would enjoy that. So I got the pastels to go with the party. Oh, you guys, okay, so this said size two and I thought age two, definitely not. This is month two. So this is a long, long time ago. I'm thinking about Madison's actually pregnant right now and these are unisex. So I was thinking about gifting these to her as well as Liz. Uh, so they're both expecting, which is amazing. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I do have one pair left, but they're so cute. Obviously too small. These will not fit the girls at all, but these were what I wanted to get them. So I'm going to have to get them in their size because these are so tiny. Oh goodness. I should have read that, but I ordered it really late at night. So my mistake. Next thing I ordered here are walkie talkies. So my friend's moving here and she has a baby boy. So I just thought this would be so cute for one for Mia, one for Sophia, and then one for Michael. And these say three and up, but I mean, they can definitely play with these probably fairly soon. So I got those. The girls, I'm about to give them a bath, but they love being in the bath, you guys. Like they are obsessed. So I wanted to get them some fun toys. We have like a little fishing rod and I just thought this would be so fun for them and keep them entertained. Well, you know, I'm shampooing and everything. So uh, I got two because I think they would probably fight over the rod. There's certain things that I can just see them not sharing and then stuff that they will share, like the car we just got them. Um, and then right here, this is actually, so this is the second bag that I got of this. So this is really cute. They were expensive. I think they're around $18, which is kind of crazy, but I, I wanted to use it more so for decor. So I just got two and i'll link them down below i also got these which are so cute we have the number two and then flowers all around which go with the whole theme and they're probably gonna wear these when they uh eat the cake i thought that would be really cute moving on okay so we have squishy toys right here so this said seven and up but we have kids of all ages that are coming so i just thought this would be nice to give as like little party favors along with um just some other random stuff i bought okay so i got the girls duckies because they're obsessed and i wanted to get them some squishies because they love anything that you can squeeze so i got them these I think they're gonna love these so little duckies and then right here this was actually something i was really excited to get thank you for celebrating with us and i just love the floral you can attach these to the bags like gift bags and then these right here i got straws for the kids and for the adults right here i'm really excited to give this to the girls i think they'd really like it so it's a dream rotating projection lamp and it has like stars and the moon and stuff i think they'll like that too and this right here, so we have spelling game. I thought that'd be nice. So this is three and up, but they can totally do this right now. There's certain things that I think that they're ready for. So, you know, I think they'll have fun with that. We also have this, kind of looks like Tetris. And then um, let, letters fishing. I don't remember buying this, but I guess I did. And then I also, okay, so one thing for me, I had to get some new shoes. So I just thought these would be really nice. They're Keds and I thought I could match the girls, so I got those for myself. Okay, so we have Kate Aspen again, and these, I believe, are the little teacups. Oh my goodness, okay, these are adorable. I'm so excited about these. So I'm gonna have these out for decor. They're little like teacups, look at that. And then it has a little candle in there. So more so for decor, but I just thought those were so cute. There we go, you guys can see it up close. But I just thought that'd be really cute for decor. And I could even use these after in my office. So it came in a set of four. Like I said, I really love that brand. Uh, okay, so right here we also have the utensils. So I loved this gold set. Obviously, there's a lot. We won't need that many, uh, but it's nice because we can have these for other parties that we host. And I love the color gold. It's a really nice gold foil. So got that. Am out of breath. Okay, so we also have a tent. This is going to be going outside. And then also these, I'm really excited to show you guys. I found these at the last minute and I was like, okay, I need really, really pretty gift bags for people to take home. And I found these. How gorgeous are these? Like, I can't get over how pretty. It just got so sunny, but I wanted to show you up close the writing. It's so pretty. And oh, I just love these and they're a really nice quality as well So I did get an overage of them because I think I'm gonna use them for other get-togethers and parties and stuff I just think they're fantastic So I got three sets and I just think this is the nicest writing I could find on Amazon like it's really pretty and I just love these This I don't know 
what this is. What is this? Um, play mat. Okay, so now I know what this is. So this is actually um, for the ball pit. So there's the balls, and then this is the outer part, what they sit in. So really nice color pink. I think that'll go perfect for the party. And then last few things that I got here, rainbow balls, which the girls are obsessed with balls right now. Like any balls they freak out over, so I got two. So last thing I got were two helmets. So I actually got these really cute scooters that are bicycles. Like they turn into scooters later on. And I just thought these would be great for them to have. So these I believe are two to seven years old. So just really cute pink helmets. So these also came in. I'm so excited. I shared it on my Instagram, but a little taste of what their birthday party is going to look like. So they sent a sample of the color palette and it's so perfect. We have pink, peach, gold, green and white and yellow and it just is so magical and whimsical i just love it awesome i cannot wait to see this like our entire house like turn into an enchanted fairy tale and it's just gonna look so pretty so i just want to quickly show you guys those the other thing i thought i would show you is this is actually for a baby boy's first birthday and they have really cute bags on amazon i found this one and it's really adorable so i'll link it down below if you guys are wondering but that is everything that I have. My goodness, my office is just crazy right now, but I wanted to show you everything. And this is actually not for the girls. This is for the first birthday, um, just a splash water table. So yeah, I just want to share everything that I got. Okay, so it is the next day of filming. I actually just put the girls down and this room is now somewhat clean. I have some of the gifts over there and then I put some into my office cabinets as well, just until I start like, uh, wrapping everything and stuff, but I took out my little tray right here, which is from Amazon. Look how cute it is. I am in love. I really love this brand, the Kate Aspen. I've been kind of obsessed, so I just want to show you what that looks like, but I'm definitely going to leave this in my office. I think it goes really nicely, but she has so much stuff. I want to definitely do like a little, a little haul from her. I think that'd be fun to do um, and check out everything else she has on Amazon. So yeah, my office is clean right now. We had some friends over last night, so I was like, okay, I have to clean, get everything organized, because you remember how you saw this room. It was kind of a crazy disaster. Um, but I did want to go upstairs and quickly show you. There was one area in the master bathroom that I didn't show you that I do have makeup, so it kind of is like makeup storage, so I thought I would quickly share that with you. Even though it was in the master bathroom makeover, I still wanted to just show you really quickly, but yeah. So I am just in the man cave right now. As you know, Ryan actually got all these cabinets up, which looks so good. Um, but I wanted to quickly show you, this just came in the mail. There's two of them. Not sure where Ryan put the other one, but this is really neat. This is actually a bicycle that turns into a scooter and it's light pink. I don't want to take it out fully, but that must be the handle. I just wanted to quickly show you what it looks like. Yeah, so it says scooter and it's a really cute little little um bicycle but i just liked the fact it turned into a scooter because i know i loved a scooter when i was younger so i think it was saying ages two to seven which is pretty neat so i'll leave a link down below so you know exactly what i'm talking about and what it looks like but that's another present they're going to open up on their birthday and then of course we have their little car right there so you guys would have seen videos that i posted on instagram and basically the reason why we didn't wait for their birthday is just because there's not much of summer left so we wanted to make sure that they are in there you know, before it gets colder and they love it. They're so obsessed. So I have like little videos to share with you of the girls and I know you guys are loving it on Instagram. I got so many questions on this particular car. So I will leave a link down below. Um, it's a Mercedes AMG and it's hot pink. <laughs> And the other thing that just came in is this right here. So I'm really excited. I think I'm waiting on two more because I got one for bracelets, necklaces, and you know, all my jewelry, but this is what it looks like. It's light pink, it's so pretty. So I'll leave a link down below on the one I got. And once the other two come in, I'll do like a little video of showing you how I organize it. And my closet, it's pretty clean right now, but I definitely will show you. Let me know if you'd like to see another like jewelry organization video once I get the other trays in. And then I'll kind of show you what I mean by getting everything organized and put away. And I can't wait. I honestly, some of those videos I love watching so much, like jewelry collection videos and uh, just storage and, you know, storage ideas and stuff. So this is a really fantastic organizer and I really like it. 
It's a really beautiful color pink too. And I actually do get asked where my hats are from since you guys know I wear them all the time in my videos. So all of these that I wear are from Aritzia. I got them all at the same time before we moved here. So I got them in like all different colors. They were only 20, I think $23, which isn't too bad. And they're actually very comfortable. So I do really love those. I quickly wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love on the last video I did revealing all the new things I'm working on. It was really overwhelming and just so, you know, I'm so grateful that I have such, you know, endless support from you guys and I just wanted to say thank you and I'm so excited. There's so much. That's another thing. I'm going to probably have a coffee tonight because there is more stuff I have to do as far as my new products. So there's a lot of just calls and nonstop um, texting all night and just making those big decisions but I'm really excited to see how everything is coming together and I'm actually working on or finishing up the packaging for it which is so beautiful you know I like to go all out in my packaging so I can't wait for you guys to see it okay so you guys remember when I showed you this in my master bathroom how I had these organizers of makeup so I mean I don't have too too much in here there's just some random things like Too Faced um, soap and glory there's Stila in the front here I have some amazing face masks that I really want to try and use so I leave them in the front here I think these are from Ipsy uh, there's some Milani blushes some bomb cosmetics and then this is actually one of my favorites so I love this I have my mirror in here as well my bling art for you mirror fantastic so pretty um, and then in here this is mainly skincare not makeup but I just wanted to show you I do have like some lip balms in here uh, and then the bottom drawer, this is the last of it. So lots of brushes in here. And I actually have them in my Amazon container, so they work out really nicely. And I just have them stored in here, which I just think it's nice when they're all singularly, you know, individual put in so I just think they look really nice like that there are a few dirty ones that I do have to clean uh, but I have palettes in here so we have some Too Faced bonbons this is one of my favorite palettes of all time we also have the golden or gold chocolate bar this was also a really beautiful palette that I love and then you already know like I'm obsessed with Too Faced bronzer so there's a million right here that I just love and then random Givenchy lip gloss there's NARS orgasm um, some fragrances in the back here. We have more uh, more of Too Faced, so Peach Perfect, and then these ones right here, and then some skincare. So yeah, that's basically all my makeup that I wanted to show you. There is some makeup I still have to organize in here, but majority is done, so that's why I wanted to share this with you in today's vlog. Oh, and I do have some of my S. Almas Glam makeup bags back here, which just fits so perfectly for, you know, taking... Uh, when we're going out with the girls, I usually will carry that, but I'm really excited for my new case. I think it's really going to just transform my makeup situation and just make me want to try new things more often because I've been really in routine of just wearing the same makeup every day, so I'm really excited about that. But wanted to just quickly show you how I had that organized. So these came in just the other day and I got so excited. I was gonna wait to show you guys in this video, but I did show a sneak peek on my Insta stories and so many of you guys were asking me about them. So I'll leave a link down below, but these are just such pretty bottles and I don't know if I'm gonna have coffee, water in this, maybe a little bit of everything when I'm going out. Um, but it says S. Almas Glam. It's got the Louis Vuitton print on there, so cute. And then also for the girls, oh my gosh, little sippy cups, but they're just gonna love these like these I want to give them for their birthday I think they would really really just freak out overseeing these and they love anything like glittery or sparkly and I just think they would really um, have so much fun with these so I do have a photographer coming for their birthday and that's also why I've been so busy just trying to plan their birthday because there's so many different things that I'm doing for it so I just want to make sure I'm ready and I'm not like stressed out closer to and I have everything done um, so that's kind of why I missed Friday's video but so happy to be back and I'm hoping you enjoy the long long vlog I knew it was going to be long but you guys know how I like to do my vlogs <laughs> All right, fam, so that was my super long vlog. I knew it was gonna be long because it was literally a full week of filming that, and there was just so much to share with you guys. So I'm really excited. There's so much of the girl's birthday that I cannot wait to show you. It is gonna be so magical. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a second birthday vlog of all the decor and set up uh, before I kind of show sneak peeks of the party. I actually have my GoPro set up, so I'm ready to go. I'm so ready for their second birthday and everything we have planned. Uh, but yeah, let me know 
know in the comments down below what fall videos would you guys like to see because I'm already planning my fall content. So let me know and if you guys have missed any of my old previous vlogs, make sure to go check them out, catch yourself up and thank you again for all the support and love and if you have not subscribed, subscribe now and I will see you guys in my next vlog.